the four of us, and there are so many more of us eldest sons that must succeed. We know how Caesar conquered Gaul and how to whack a cricket ball. Apart from this, our education lacks coordination. Though we're young and tentative and rather unrepresentative scions of a noble breed, we are the products of those home serene and stately that only lately seem to have gone to seed. The stately homes of England, how beautiful they stand To prove the upper classes are still the upper hand Though the fact that they have to be rebuilt And frequently mortgaged to the hilt Is inclined to take the guilt Of the gingerbread and frequently miles the fun Of the elder son But still we won't be beaten We'll scrimp and screw and save The playing fields of Eton Have made us frightfully blame So still if the Van Dykes have to go And pawn the Beckstein Grand We'll stand by the baby homes of England Here you see the thick of us, you may be heartily sick of us still with sense. We're all imbued. Our homes command extensive views, and though it's very hard to choose, we have been able to dispose of rows and rows and rows of Gainsborough's and Lawrence's, some sporting prints of Aunt Florence's, some of which were rather rude. Although we sometimes flaunt our family conventions, our good intentions mustn't be misconstrued. The stately homes of England we proudly represent. We only keep them up for Americans to rent. Though the pipe that supplies a bathroom burst and the lavatory makes you fear the worst, it was used by Charles I. Quite informally, and later by George IV, on the journey north, the, the state apartments keep their historical renown. It's wiser not to sleep there in case they tumble down. But still, if they ever catch on fire, which with any luck they might, we'll fight for the stately homes of England. The stately homes of England, though largely in the lurch, provide a lot of chances for psychical research. There's a ghost of a crazy younger son who burdened it. Sorry, I'll start that again. <laughs> The stately homes of England, the largely in the lurch, provide a lot of chances for psychical research. There's the ghost of a crazy younger son who murdered in 1351 an extremely rowdy nun who resented it. And people who come to call meet her in the hall. The, the baby in the guest wing who crouches by the grate was walled up in the west wing in 1428. If anyone spots the Queen of Scots in a hand-embroidered shroud, we're proud of the stately homes of England. Proud of the stately homes of England.